Today we're going to look into using TACAN to help locate your wingmen and flight lead. In aircraft with data links, such as the A10C or KA50 Black Shark, you're able to simply look up their location on a digital map, but most aircraft do not have that luxury. You've probably used TACAN before by now, and know that it can be used to locate aircraft, typically this is used to locate aerial tankers or sometimes air bases. However, Something many people miss is that you yourself can broadcast a TACAN signal to other aircraft in a similar way to how airborne tankers do it. In aircraft that lack a data link system, this is an incredibly useful tool for rejoining your flight after splitting up during combat. This technique is what's referred to as a TACAN yardstick, in reference to that you only get range information from the host, no bearing information at all. When you set to transmit receive on your TACAN radio, you're not only listening to the selected frequency, but you're also transmitting a TACAN frequency yourself. That frequency is exactly 63 channels higher than the one you have selected. Normally, you will use this to help you solve bearing and range information when you're contacting a large TACAN station such as an airbase or tanker. However, we're going to use it to get range information from one small aircraft to another, so let's put this into practice. First, your flight lead will need to start broadcasting a TACAN signal. Pick a channel between 1 and 63 in either X-Ray or Yankee, and set to air-to-air -air and transmit-receive modes on. Avoid using signals that are already in use by aircraft or airbases as they'll conflict with your own and will result in confusing signals for you and your wingmen. Now, tell your flight to tune into a TACAN signal that is 63 channels higher than your own. All parties need to set their air-to-air -air transmit receive modes on. So if your flight lead has selected TACAN 1 Yankee, you'll need to pick TACAN 64 Yankee. Once you've set this, select TACAN as your navigation source and you will now see the needles spin round in circles, or remain still, depending on the aircraft, indicating that no bearing information is available. However, you should now see that you've got range information to your flight lead. Unfortunately, it's not possible to get bearings from small aircraft as the equipment is fairly large. But, by a process of playing a game of hotter or colder, you can steadily fly towards your flight lead with just the range information. Simply fly in a gentle turn until you're starting to get closer and keep an eye on the rate. The faster it's going down, the more direct you are going towards them. Level out and fly in the same direction until either the rate of closure drops or starts getting further away. Then start turning again until you're closing. It's best that the flight lead holds an orbit in the same general area such as around a waypoint or landmark to avoid situations where you're flying towards the beacon as fast as they're flying away from you, which would result in no closure rate whatsoever. As you get closer, start visually scanning in front of your aircraft in both directions. Don't forget to tell your flight what altitude you're flying at to help them visually acquire you. You can also combine this with your radar to help locate them. In addition to using it to locate one another, it's also used in poor visibility and for maintaining specific separation distances between aircraft in loose formations. The great thing about using TACAN is that it works between any two or more aircraft that have TACAN radios and you're not limited to the same aircraft type. As long as it's got a TACAN radio, you'll be able to use this technique, allowing aircraft without a data link to home in on each other with relative ease. This only works in multiplayer, as AI aircraft other than tankers cannot be commanded to broadcast a TACAN beacon. It's also worth noting that hostile aircraft and units can also pick up on these transmissions and home in on you in just the same way, so be wary of using it in the combat area. Although in reality it's pretty unlikely that a player will be skimming the channels looking for anyone broadcasting, it's good practice to switch off your TACAN as you fence in as preparation for combat, so you're not actively broadcasting your location to everyone. So let's close this up by going over a few examples of TACAN in use. Our flight lead has set their TACAN frequency to 20 Yankee. Both our wingmen need to set to frequency 83 Yankee. And now they receive range information to their flight lead. 
In this second example, however, we've set up our Taycan as 15 X-Ray, with our wingmen tuned to 78 X-Ray. However, another aircraft is also set to broadcast across 15 X-Ray. As you can see, the Taycan will always home in on the closest source. So ensure you're not competing with any other beacons, otherwise it could result in one of your wingmen flying to another area. This is why you would have your flight lead set a specific frequency, and have everyone else tune into that same frequency. So I hope you find that helpful for keeping your formations together in multiplayer, and take care.